There are two types of Ethernet connectors, copper RJ45 and ST fiber connector. When the communication suffix in the order code is standard SE, then standard RJ45 port should be used. If the communication order code is advanced from 1E to 3E and the connector is ST, then optical fiber port should be used. Be careful of the polarity of the relay to the Ethernet switch when using fiber. The transmission terminal TX on the relay should be connected to the receiving terminal RX on the switch and vice versa. When the advanced communication order code has copper RJ45 connector, then RJ45 cable should be plugged into the advanced copper port. When either type of the Ethernet cable is connected, the relay IP address is set up, then we need to configure the computer IP address. For this purpose of demonstration, we are going to set up the computer IP address to be 1.1.2. So we are going to start the change adapter settings, click local area connection 2, and this is the Ethernet I am going to use to, for the connection to the relay. Start the property and the TCP IPv4. I set up the IP address 1.1.1.2, so it's different with the relay IP address, which is 1.1.1.1, using the 255, 255, 255 for the subnet mask setting, and I click OK to accept. Now we want to verify this uh, IP address of the relay. We can start the uh, command prompt and we can type in the ping command ping and really IP address which is 1.1.1.1 and press enter and now we can see this is a reply message from the relay means this uh, IP address of the relay is effective okay so shut down this uh, connection now we're going to set up this relay under the device setup. Click device setup button and click end site. Give this a site name, Markham, and click end device. We'll give this a device name called feeder 101. Then select the interface to be the Ethernet. You can type in the IP address. 1.1.1.1 and uh, keep the default slave and port uh, settings. Now we click read order code. Now this uh, release order code is populated as well as the version number and then we click OK. We can see this uh, site name, feeder 101, the device name is ended. So now the Ethernet connection is successful. Mm -hmm.